Hello and uh, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to talk about uh, pressure on a form. And those of you who've been in construction, I've been for many years. Uh, you have a, either a column or a wall, and you have a form, and you pour in a concrete, and that concrete has uh, uh, it's in a liquid status for a while before it sets up and created some kind of pressure. And there have been many cases you can see. You can go ahead and Google it that the pressure. Uh, caused by a concrete can cause the form blowout and cause uh, a really devastating uh, to the contractor or sometimes cause uh, fatalities. So how are we going to uh, calculate how much pressure is and all based on the temperature of the uh, time you're placing the concrete and the rate that you're using for the uh, uh, placement. Is it 4 feet per hour, 5 feet per hour, 10 feet per hour? What is the rate you are using? So for column, uh, if you look at the ACI uh, 347, it has the code on it, and uh, the pressure uh, is given by this equation, but of course it has a limitation of minimum and maximum that we have to double check. So let's get to work and uh, do this. We have, we have this concrete uh, column, it's 20 feet tall, and the rate of, of the uh, uh, placement is going to be 10 feet per hour. And at, at the time of the temperature for replacing the concrete, it's going to be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And the concrete we're going to use is 145 pound concrete. Um, and that's all. This is some of the information we have. So let's get to work. From ACI 347, uh, uh, table 2.1 and 2.2, which is on a board right now, the uh, weight coefficient is equal to 1 and the chemistry coefficient is equal to 1.2. So therefore, our pressure is going to come out to equal, I uh, have uh, 1.2 times 1 multiplied by uh, uh, 150 pl plus 9,000. The rate came out to be uh, 10 feet per hour. And divided by the temperature is uh, 60 degree. And that will give me uh, pressure is equal 1,980 pound per square foot. Now, Based on the code, this has to be more than the minimum. And the minimum pressure is given by, uh, is equal 600. So that is more than minimum, which is less than uh, 1980. We check out. And then the P max, they, get, they give us a two different number. I just use the WH1, which is uh, equal, um, have 145 pound concrete and multiply that by the height equal 20, and that will give me uh, 2,900 pound per foot square, which is more than uh, 1980. So that's good. It, it stands between that. If you look at the code, they got another one. It says for PMX also you can use uh, three thousand time uh, CW and C1, which this comes out to uh, 2998. And, uh, uh, but it says no more than W time H. That's why we're using this. So our maximum is going to be 1980. That's going to control for here. And what are we going to do here? So the uh, liquid pressure can exist at any time below, um, we have 1980. If we take that and divide it by 145, that will give us 13.6 uh, feet. It tells us that from top of the form right here up to, say this is a 13 point, what is called right here? Thirteen point six feet from the top of the form, it's going to be pressured like this, and from here it's going to all be liquid pressure. We assume, and uh, for the concrete here, so the pressure is going to be basically um, for this amount, which is comes out to twenty minus thirteen point six, and that will give us uh, six point four feet. The pressure is going to be. Uh, 1980 and from here on it's going to be basically uh, all the way to the top of the form to zero. So this is the, our pressure diagram, how we're going to uh, calculate uh, 
pressure for 20 foot column. Now one thing you have to remember is that this is for a rate of 10 feet per hour. If you increase this rate to 20 feet per hour, your formula is going to change. Your amount of, uh, um, your amount of uh, uh, pressure is going to change. However, you, because the rate is going to be higher, you might end up with a, a triangle pressure. Uh, so make sure you follow the uh, code ACI 347 code. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing using a uh, wall form. And let me erase this board. OK. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing uh, for a wall form. And I'll do for a wall form, the pressure is uh, have a different equation from ACI 3472.3. You can get this number from a table. There's a table there, but it uh, takes two seconds to calculate anyway. Factors for these two are basically the same from table A3, uh, 2.1 and 2.2. .2. So let's find out what we're going to come out with here. Uh, pressure is equal 1.2 times 1.1. 1 .1 150 plus 43, 400 divided by 70. The temperature at the time of placing is 70 degree plus 2800 at 10 foot per hour divided by the temperature at 70. And that will give me So <coughs> we're going to come out with the uh, 1404 uh, pound per square foot. And this comes out to 1170. And this can come out of the, You can get this base from a, a table as shown on the board here. So now we have that. We're going we're to worry about the maximum and minimum. As the code shows, that has to be uh, more than minimum. So the minimum is basically 600. That checks out. And the maximum was a PMX. They show two different types of PMX. In no case greater than uh, WH, so I'm just going to go ahead and calculate WH. 2175. 21.75 pound per square foot. So that is more than that. That checks out. So uh, it's less than a uh, uh, maximum. But the other maximum that they show in uh, um, uh, this is the optimum case, or also for the wall, it says 2000 or PMX of uh, 2,000 times CW, uh, that would be 1.2. So that is a, uh, 2,400. So this max controls. And uh, this is the maximum we want to use. Again, we want to know what the pressure is from the top. Uh, how much we liquid we have. So we're going to have, say, 1404 divided by 145. That will give me 9.7 right here. So from here, I'm going to go ahead. Nope, that's wrong. I'm going to come out 9.7. Say this is a 9.7 feet. And the form is uh, 15. So come down right here. And this will be my pressure diagram right here. And this will be basically uh, 1404. That's what you're going to design for pound per square foot. Okay, So this will be 5.3. So for the first 5.3, at rate of 10 feet per hour, you have this uh, type of pressure. Again, you got to pay attention. When you change your rate, you might have a wall a pressure, this might go up and down based on your rate. And if you have a short wall, uh, for example, uh, uh, if you got six foot wall because your wall is too short based on your rate, you might end up with something like this for a six foot wall. And then you can calculate this pressure. So this is basically how we calculate that. Now we know the how to calculate the pressure, and we will go ahead and design the form that will be next. Uh, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up.